So the title is Ain't No Light But Justice, and I stole it. Well, I didn't really steal it. I sort of modified it from a Bible verse. I don't remember which one, but it said something it was like God speaking, and he's like, my, my justice will be a light to the nations. Death she must have been your will. Religion really interests me, whether it's Christianity or uh, Islam or Hinduism. They all are very fascinating to me. And obviously I've grown up surrounded by Christianity, so I sort of focus on that one in my work. And it's, it's just fascinating. It's basically magic, you know. It's real-life magic if you believe in that stuff. And so it opens up all these possibilities uh, for storytelling. And it's weird, like growing up, you look up to these people, like I've had people I've looked up to, and then I uh, come of age and I realize they're extremely racist or sexist, and it's just like, man, I looked up to you, this is crazy. And I don't know if that's like strictly a, I'm sure it's not strictly a southern phenomenon, but yeah, it's just weird. With JC, uh, I just, you know, just wanted someone really, really devout to the point where it was a fault, you know? Like, she doesn't take control of the situation. She sort of relies on her religion to guide her. And there are people like that. Like, there are these people who, you know, don't believe in medicine. And they rely on God to heal their children, and that doesn't always end well. <laughs> so... Yeah, just sort of basing them on these ideas and like how the, where people fall on the spectrum. Like Joel is obviously young and naive, so he's still very um, <clears throat> religious. Not to say that people who are religious are naive, but I mean, somebody's when when you get of a certain age, you start to have doubts whether or not you're a Christian or not. You're gonna doubt it, you know. Um, and then there's uh, Harris who has like grown up with it and is struggling with it. Um, I guess that's sort of me <laughs> struggling with faith, this faith that I've grown up with. I knew I wanted to shoot it in 235 and I knew I wanted to use a lot of wide lenses. And then I also drew from Night of the Hunter I think it's like a 1950s film. It's black and white, and it's like a film noir, basically. It's essentially a German expressionist film, like the sets are really stylized and off kilter in some points. It's really like a fairy tale, almost, the way they shot it, and that's sort of what I was going for with this. If I would have had money, I would have built sets like that. Um, but I couldn't do that, so we tried to do it in the lighting. We did a lot of tests in the studio, lighting tests and camera tests, to see what we wanted, and we eventually got there.